and action. Hey, happy Monday. Dr. Robin McKay here and welcome to your weather report. It is Monday, November 21st. It's the week of the American Thanksgiving holiday and sort of the unofficial start of the holiday season. I know there are so many sales coming up and exciting things coming up as we start to close out this year. And in a minute, I'm going to dive into our weather report. But before I do, there are a couple of things I want you to take note of if you're in the actualization zone on Facebook with me. I'm so happy that you're here. Say hello in the comments. And if you're watching the replay, do the same thing so I can come back in and say hi back to you. And I want you to watch this space this week. You know, we haven't done Black Friday kind of holiday sales in my world for a while. I don't even remember actually the last time I did that, but this year I was guided to, and I have several things that are coming up on announcement this week that are on offer at special prices through the end of the month, through the end of November. But one of the ones I wanted to highlight today is this one, and there's a little bit of a background to this. So when I first decided to start my spiritual leadership business, uh, executive coaching, spiritual counseling, that kind of thing. I was looking at some of the leaders in the field, some of the people who I looked up to, some of the, the, the top thought leaders in spiritual entrepreneurship. And my heart's desire, my heart's desire is that one of them, at least one of them would open up their practice, open up their, or pull back the curtain on their practice and share with me all of the things that they had to do, who they needed to become in order to make that happen for themselves, in order for them to become the influential leaders that I knew them as. And that was a heart's desire of mine. And no one ever, well, no, there is one person who did that. And she's somebody who I continue to work with to this day. But for the most part, you know, what I've found a lot of times is that spiritual leaders are often kind of close to the vest in terms of what they're doing with, with their businesses and how they're, how they're marketing, how they're selling, what they're thinking about, what their mindset is and so on behind the scenes. So one of the ways that I'm shifting that for all of us, because if I, I'm not the only one, I'm sure who's had that wish. And I know that a lot of the people who are in my community, who have been following me for a while, may be wondering that same thing. So one of the things that I'm doing this winter is forecasting sessions, business forecasting sessions in the Akashic Records. And this is my way of kind of peeling back the curtain behind the things I know that worked for me, have worked for my colleagues as well in terms of growing our multi-six figure businesses into seven, eight figures and beyond. And um, remembering when I started and my goal was just to replace my corporate salary with income from my business. And remembering how um, the leap from making 5K a month to 10K to 25K a month and so on was something that I always wanted guidance on and I always wanted somebody to support me on. And I finally found that person and now it's, I'm being called to be that person as well. So if you're a spiritual entrepreneur and you would like me to get my hands on your Akashic Records, my brain on your Akashic Records and your business and map out your strategy for 2023 to bring in your next 100K in revenue, new, new soul aligned clients, new opportunities, both in the corporate and private spaces, and so on. This is an opportunity for you to do that at a really special price. That's the, um, the business forecasting sessions in the Akashic Records. We're going to drop that information in the show notes for you today, but that's at a very special price. And then the other thing that I have for, and this is for everybody actually, who is in the actualization zone and beyond as well. I developed an actualization method across the course of my whole life, basically. I, I finally put it into words, put it into a format where you can follow along and learn kind of the exact principles and practices that I've used to manifest all kinds of amazing things in my life, including my divine life partner. In fact, over the weekend, it was seven years since my husband proposed to me at the Tony Bennett Heart in San Francisco and Union Square. So that that brought up a bunch of memories and a bunch of 
just reflection on how much my life has changed in the last seven years. And the actualization method I developed has been a very, very integral part of the, the, the journey that I've been on for beyond seven years, for sure. And that actualization accelerator is what I call it, is on sale for a very special price this week as well. There's a hundred dollar off coupon for everybody to take advantage of, to get that in your hands and start studying the principles and practices that I have found to be very, very helpful and supportive of actualizing my own hopes, dreams, goals, and desires. So with that, if either of those are of interest to you, the links will be in the comments so you can take a look at that. If you want to get in on one of the forecasting sessions, why don't you DM me or, or email me at robin at drrobinmckay.com and we can have a quick conversation just via email or messenger about if I feel like I can support you and if I can, we'll get you a special link to uh, get yourself enrolled in that, in that really cool opportunity. So with that, let's dive into the weather report this week. And just if you're new to my world, I uh, have a PhD in psychology. I'm a scientist, a STEM girl from the time I was a little kid, but I'm also highly in intuitive and uh, I'm a clear channel. And so I tune into my guides, my Akashic record keepers, and we talk about the, not the meteorologic weather, but the, the energetic weather, the energies and the, the non-physical influences that are coming through this week. And we see how we can use those, harness them, see what we need to pay attention to. So let's see, the guides are here. And they want me to talk specifically today about the barriers to actualizing your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. We all have the capacity to envision what's possible for our future, but sometimes the vision can feel like it's out there rather than inside of you, first of all. And secondly, if you're not feeling your best or if you're not feeling aligned with that vision, that vision can feel like it may as well be on another planet for all you, for all you can tell. So some of the things that stand between any of us and our heart's desires are things like low motivation, stagnation, the, the group think that has kind of swept the planet over, I need to wait and see what happens. There's a lot of fence sitting that's been going on right now. There's a lot of uncertainty that we've been steeping in actually for the last couple of years. And then people are in surge capacity or burnout on top of that, which makes which makes the, um, the, the actualization of your heart's desire is even more difficult when you're not feeling your best. So those are the kinds of energies that have been kind of running rampant in the world right now. Stagnation, uncertainty, low motivation, um, confusion, lack of clarity. And even when you know what you want, if you're not able to move the needle on it, there can be kind of this, this sense of um, impotency, impotency, which is the opposite of being potent, which is the opposite of fulfilling your potential. So that's one of the things that I want us to be aware of consciously. I think we're all unaware, we're all unconsciously aware of those energies, but we may not really realize how much they affect us on a day-to-day -day basis in terms of the the way we think about our, our work, the way we think about our businesses, the way we think about marketing, the way we think about investing in ourselves is all influenced by these kind of external weather systems that have been swirling for the last several years, especially. So here's the thing, though, is that leaders rise above that low level smog of uncertainty lack of motivation, and all of those other things I named, stagnation, all of those other things. So leaders rise above that, and they understand that that's just an energy, and they also understand that they're the first cause. They're the, they're the first thing that is going to move the needle. Nothing outside of them is going to shift until the leader herself shifts. So I want you to think back to a time when you had something that you really, really wanted to accomplish, 
And maybe there was even a deadline attached to it. And the deadline was coming quick, quicker and quicker. It was getting closer and closer. And there was something inside of you that shifted gears. You put yourself into high gear. And then what happened? You went for it and you accomplished that thing that you had as a heart's desire. Well, that often happens when we're in school. But what happens when you're an adult human and you don't have a hard deadline for something? You don't have a hard deadline for finding your divine life partner. You don't have a hard deadline for hitting 100K months in your business. You don't have a hard deadline for making EVP in your company. And the intellectual mind is going to say something like, well, we can't plan for those things anyway. We just have to take a wait and see approach. The future is not ours to see. K sera, sera as Doris Day would say. Well, the message this week is very different from the message that you've been receiving from the, from the ethers, from, from the, the weather systems that are low hanging in this, in this world right now. The message today is very much around relighting your own fire, that inner fire, that inner passion for what you are embarking on for the rest of this year and into next year as well. And to recommitting to at least one of your greatest hopes, dreams, and desires. Not, not tomorrow, not the next day, but today, right now, right here. Recommit. And the best way to recommit, to demonstrate that you've recommitted after you make the decision is to do something to take action in the service of that decision. It could be something like telling your mastermind partner that you have made the decision. So sharing the information with somebody else. It can be something like, Hiring somebody new to support you with that, who you know is going to help you move the needle on it. It can be investing in yourself, in your future through something like coaching or something like masterminding, for example. And there are a lot of other different avenues to go down when you're taking action. But the most important thing that you're going to do is first decide that you're going to recommit and then take action. There's a gap between the decision and the action sometimes. And the longer that gap is, the more potential there is for that gap to widen and for the fire to dim. So this isn't for all of you. There are some people who are going to choose to sit on the fence at this time. There are some people who are going to continue to wait and see. And this message is not for them. This is for you, the one who is sitting there going, God, you know, there are some things that I haven't accomplished yet. There are some things that are on my heart that I want to lean into and I just haven't been. This message is for you. And I want you to remember you are the first cause. You are the first cause. Gratitude is the first cause of all good things. Your decision to move the needle is the first thing that needs to happen to reactivate that fire inside of you, to take another run at that thing that has been eluding you. And also, and finally, the guides are saying to transmute any lower order energies that would be conveying something different other than you're the one who starts the ball rolling. No one's coming to rescue you. Sorry, hashtag sorry, not sorry. No one's coming to tell you what to do. It all starts with you. It doesn't mean that you don't have mentors around you. It doesn't mean that you don't have people who can and will support you when you ask, but you have to ask. You have to decide that that's the direction that you're going to go. So anchor into that, anchor into the, the inner knowing that you're the first cause, refocus your attention. Even during this holiday week, there's so many opportunities for us to take the foot off the gas, to just coast through the end of the year and take another run at things next year. But I don't think that that lifestyle is for you. It certainly isn't for me. And it certainly isn't for the people who work with me, either in my groups or in private time with me as well. We just, we don't have that that wait and see energy at all. Because remember in the actualization zone, we are all about creating a new world for ourselves and for other people. And if we're really genuinely gonna create the new world for ourselves and other people, we have to get off the fence. We have to roll up our sleeves. I'm not saying we have to work hard because that I don't think is part of the equation, but we do have to focus and we do have to make contributions and we do have some things that we still need to master in the process. 
So that's the, that's the energy report this week. I want to kind of whip up the flame inside of you and send it out into the world, send it out into the world. And if you'd like my support with that, I'm here for you. The forecasting sessions are a great idea. And I also have a couple of those uh, mini coaching packages left, those three 45 minute sessions where we activate your wealth consciousness codes and, and get your energy supported so that you can attract, receive and hold more financial well-being, financial wealth in your in your business and in your life. All right. So that's it for today. DM me if you want to make a connection with me and let me know that you would like to work together on these very important hopes, dreams, and desires that you have. I am here for you and I'm wishing you the very, very best week possible.